What's happening VC? Eric the Viking here on a, on a Tuesday morning. Um, quite bleary eyed as you can see. Um, yeah, I thought I'd uh, post a little video. Um, a, little, a little tour around part of my house. Or our house, one of my girlfriend's house. A few people have asked to see a little tour so I thought why not. Um, yeah, I mean as I've said we're doing up the place, so the place is quite a mess, but I've I've sort of tidied up the rooms I want to show you. So yeah, uh, I hope everyone's cool and everything. I've been liking the comments I've been getting on the Brazil videos. So yeah, let's let's have a look, shall we? So we're in the the main room. Well, the only room that you guys normally see me in. The music slash dining room. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the middle room of the house, so we've got the front door over there the living room is is behind this wall the kitchen is behind me um yeah this is the this is where it all happens <laughs> uh so as you can see i've got all my albums here alphabetical um my voice sounds really odd today <clears throat> yeah sorry so yeah get a rough idea of um oh i feel a bit dizzy from that from what's going on uh, you know, alphabetical, all genres, everything. You got A, all the way up to H, and then continue on H down here. Derek, there's your record there. I'm still still getting Derek too. Haven't got it yet. Uh, H all the way to S. I think that's Sunra at the end there. Yep, that's Sunra. And S again, all the way along here. And then I've got Zappa at the end. This is the little divider. There's my comps here. I've got quite a lot of comps, which I often forget. Um, and soundtracks I've got in there as well, things like that. And then my 12s here. So I haven't got that many 12s really. Um, sadly, I used to have a lot more, but I sold some of them quite quite a while ago, which I'd rather not talk about. Um, as you can see, the whole CD section is a complete mess because I've actually been selling off a lot of my CDs. Um, but I think all the ones that are in here are the ones I'm keeping. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, just don't don't listen to a lot of them anymore. Um, yeah, and then this is all the stuff that I've sort of picked up recently that I'm getting through. Um, I haven't filed in with everything else. All my Brazil stuffs there. Uh, yeah. What else? Um, got the computer there, with the blue tack on the shitty monitor where I put my iPhone. <laughs> um, it's an old monitor, the computer's cool though. Got my 7s here, which all need a serious sorting out. Ever well, since we moved basically, my fr our friends helped us move, and they sort of helped box up the singles, but obviously they didn't keep them in order, which I wasn't expecting them to do. Um, they all sort of take the piss out of my um, OCD sort of behaviour when it comes to storing my records, but oh well. Um, yeah, basically I need to get a bigger unit for the sevens, because I've run out of room as you can see, there's a box there full of them. There's overflow here and here, yeah, everywhere. Um, <clears throat> it's very hard keeping singles in, in, in order. I'm sure you guys find that too. What I plan to do is we're getting a unit that's going to go higher up here, and um, alphabetize them and make little... Um, strips of paper with maybe the, just the letters I was thinking the art just all the artists but that's, can you see that dust? I haven't played more sevens in a while um, I think the artists would be quite time consuming but we'll see and there's my beloved Akai 4000 DS DB sorry <laughs> um, beautiful piece of kit that's a DS the one down there which I've just sold actually um, yeah it's a beautiful rotor. It's the only one I I'm currently using. I, I've had a lot over the years. Um, I'd love to get a Revox, but um, that costs an awful lot of money. But I still use this quite regularly, and it's all hooked up to the stereo, which sits nicely here in the fireplace area. Um, yeah, and another thing I thought you guys might want to see is this um, Space Age. Cassette slash radio machine, Weltron 2004 model, Japanese made, 1971. I've had this for years now. I got it as a kid at a jumble sale. Um, I don't know what you guys would call that in America. Um, 
just a sort of like a charity event, you know, where people donate stuff. Always used to get records at this place as well. They're kind of extinct now in England, sadly. But I got this for 20p because they didn't think it worked. But it does. <laughs> the kettle lead wasn't in properly at the back. Oh, it's a Joker card. I've no idea what that's doing there. Like I say, there is some mess here. Um, yeah, so I'm selling that. I'm not sure how much for. I know they are quite expensive because the this is the cassette model, which is a lot rarer than the more common 8-track one. Yep. Um, what else? Some well, steam and fuzz, which actually I will put on now. A bit of needle dropping. Um, I hope I do this right because I haven't done this while holding the camera before. Oh no, that was bad. That was really mouthy. There we go. It's all right. It's looking a lot worse. Just my original English pressing. Quite crackly, but you know, it does the job. My stereo is, um, might as well show you my stereo. It's quite an interesting setup where I've got a uh, NAD amp. Look, there's dust everywhere. This is terrible. A NAD 3020 amp, 81. Lovely amp. Standard Sony CD player and a really old JVC cassette deck, which still works. And this is what I used to do my editing on. Because um, that pause button is really light. <laughs> um, the deck is a dual CS503. Really nice deck. I had another dual before which packed up on me. Um, yeah, the unit that's all in there was actually a TV stand originally, which had been left at the house, so that was cool. That extension lead shouldn't be there. Yeah, I'm sort of nitpicking at all the mess here now. Um, yeah, we had a few people around the other night where we normally listen to records and have a drink so this is what we were listening to I haven't put them away yet Jeff Simmons Turn On or Stereo Lab sort of related album which is superb 200 Motels some people told me to turn that off <laughs> bit of Steely Dan bit of Funkadelic that's not an original I'm afraid I wish it was and a nice original promo of Shuggy and Gil that's also an original so yeah, quite a mixed bag there. Um, I don't want to make this video too long because it takes a while to load them up, but um, I'll show you guys the living room briefly, which is a bit messy. We've, we've just wallpapered that there. Um, yeah, as you can see, all the fireplaces in that are original. Yeah, that's why the wallpaper and everything's still there. Yeah. Put the main road there, nice hedge. <laughs> um, this painting my mum actually did, which she, she copied from a Rolling Stones poster, it means a lot to me because uh, it's one of the one of the only, well, my mum did a lot, of, was really into art, but this is the only piece of art of hers that I have. And it means an awful lot to me. And you know, I, I remember looking at this, this used to be on the wall at the house when I was a kid. And I was just fascinated by it, you know, I remember staring at it as a child, I couldn't quite make out what was going on, but yeah. This I actually picked up in Florida, it's not original of course. Um, awesome poster though. Got it in a flea market in Florida. Um, yeah, there's our DVD collection, see Sammy is like I am with DVDs really. Um, most of these are hers and there's double that behind there, so what we're doing this unit is going to be housing the singles and we're getting two units to go along this wall for the DVDs because we can never find anything, it's ridiculous uh, our TV's pretty shit as well, we're getting a new TV soon but hey ho so that's the living room, oh and there's my little Hendrix figure there Isle of, uh, not Isle of Wight, Woodstock figure and then last but not least I'm going to show you guys the, the the music recording room, which is where I make all of my own music, which is still going under some work. Um, getting a try, <laughs> it doesn't look like we'll fit it, but we're gonna try and get a drum kit in here. Um, oh, they're, they're going on the wall, <laughs> it's just random things. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but um, hey ho been using it a lot recently as you can see I've got a rather random collection of keyboards I don't actually use that little one on top that's my Korg MS-20 which is an original 
and was sort of lo lent, loaned to me permanently by a friend who never uses it. There's uh, my um, 70s organ. Dead common these organs, but they're great, and it's got a drum machine as well. Proper Sly Stone drum machine sounds. There's a trombone, which I can't play, which was given to me. There's a flute, which I'm trying to learn to play. There's an auto harp. There's a load of empty album covers that are going on this wall eventually. Yeah, I know. There's, I got. I basically picked up a load of empty album sleeves years ago. They've all got water damage. Um, at a car boot sale, some guy had all these sleeves saying that his records had got stolen and he just had the sleeves. So I just bought them off him for next to nothing. And they're all good albums as well. Look, Maxine Brown, yeah, you can see. Heartbreaking, really, because obviously then... Yeah, I still haven't got a Silvers album. So, yeah, this this whole room, the wall-to-wall wall -wall will be record covers. Eventually. And there's my Korg X5, which is currently not working. Sadly, because I used to use that for everything. And my... Tascam 4 track there, which um, which I normally record everything on, but I've just picked up an 8 track. Yeah, I'm way behind with the times, aren't I? But um, I bought this 8 track thinking it was the newer model, but it's actually the, the older one. I don't, and it's not really going to be compatible with what I need. So I'm going to have to sell that on. That's it, guys. That's all you're getting for now. Um, yeah. Our bedroom's through there, which is a mess, I'm not showing that. Spare room's there, old mattress there, which needs to be got rid of, and a toilet. So guys, that is uh, so far what I'm showing you of the house. Um, hope you like what you see. I'm sorry about the mess. We don't normally live in squalor, um, but you know, it takes time to do up your house and things like that. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm sure I'll be back in a few days with another video. Peace VC, see you soon.